श्री श्री आनंद मई मात की जय द चक्रास एस सीन एंड इंटरप्रिटेड बाय आनंद मई मां भाई जी इन मदर एज रिवील्ड टू मी रिलेट्स दैट वंस व्हेन ही विजिटेड आनंद मई मां इन शाहबाग ही नोटिस दैट शी हैड ड्रॉन सम फिगर्स ऑन द फ्लोर when he inquired about the significance of the figures she told him that they were representations of the chakras as she had observed them while walking about at noon i sat down here in a yogic posture when i observed some lotus like vital centers from the highest center in the brain right down along the spinal cord to its lowest end a few inches apart from one another i saw clearly that from the lowest tip of the spinal cord upwards there lay many finer and finer centers of which only the six chief ones have been drawn here i have not drawn them deliberately my hand has of itself moved about on the floor and this is how these pictures have come about you should note that through these vital areas of interlacing nerves function the inherited impulses acquired dispositions emotions various urges thought cycles and notions of life and death etc which find their way downwards from the highest brain center in response to stimulation from all the sense organs streams of life and of vital fluid course swiftly or slowly through those channels and guide the life processes and thought currents of man just as you find that earth water fire air and the space beyond the atmosphere interpenetrate one another so also these six chief centers lie inside the body apparently one above the other but functioning in mutual interdependence as one vital chain a little reflection will convince you that the play of life goes on in the upper centers of your body when your thoughts are pure and full of bliss just as you find that springs of water lying at the bottom of a well or a tank keep up a constant supply or just as the sap of plant life is underground deep down about the roots so at the lowest end of the spinal cord muladhar lies asleep the fountain of the giant vital forces derived ultimately from the sun from where issue forth the streams of your life when with great patience and sanctity you strive to purify your inner and outer vehicles the resulting vibrations of your thoughts strike ever higher and higher centers releasing their tension freeing up the pent up life force at the lowest center to seek outlets upwards then all the lethargy primal urges and sanskaras of the devotee gradually fade away like mist before the sun's rays along with the unleashing of the block our attachment to the objects of the senses begins to relax and the inner life starts taking shape when the upward drive of the life force reaches the vital center at the parting of the eyebrows the inner stream of the vital fluid flows with ease and purity quite evenly all over the human system 
with the result that the devotee comes to realize something of the nature of the ego the world and creation if a man continues in this stage for long all his prenatal inherited dispositions and urges gradually becomes weaker and weaker his mind reaches ever higher and higher levels of contemplation ever deeper centers of the life force when the devotee reaches beyond the highest vital center which is situated between the eyebrows duidal chakra his mental powers merge in the supramental his ego dissolves in mahabhav highest ecstasy supreme love for god and he finds his eternal refuge in swarup his own true self he then goes into samadhi a state of perpetual bliss as the various vital centers begin to open up different sounds are perceived inwardly and the devotee comes to feel the sounds of conscious bells flutes etc all merging in the cosmic rhythm of one great voice of infinite silence at that stage no thought or object of the outside world can distract his attention as he advances his being gets dissolve in the bottomless depth of that blissful music that pervades the whole universe and he finds eternal repose when bhai ji showed her the chakras as depicted in sir john george woodrow's serpent power she retorted i have not read about these centers in any book nor have i ever before heard anything about them from anyone the description i gave is from my actual experience and she added the colors of those vital centers that you find in the pictures are but their external tinge the same substance of which our brain is made also forms these plexus but their shapes structures and functions very each one has its special characteristics and distinctive qualities like the eye or the ear or the navel or even the lines on the palms of your hands in them there is ever changing play of various colors and sounds and their symbols called seed mantras all being natural results of the movement of the life force and the flow of the vital fluid during the earlier stages when various mantras issued from these lips accompanied by transformations of the breath at times questions like what are these flashed across my mind the reply came from within and the inner structure of all those plexus became distinctly visible like the pictures you have put before me when a person regularly prays perform pujas and yogic practices meditates and reflects on the higher truths of existence with sufficient concentration the mind substance get purified thoughts become refined and the centers unfold themselves otherwise no human being can find an escape from the storm of physical urges like lust greed and anger shri shri anandamayi mat ki jai